Potential for investments is huge in uh, FAGs right now. We have been following the story for quite some time in the checkpoints. And the main reason is that the FDA said that the FAG therapy is something to look at Sirius. Um, yes, Georgi, I remember at the end of the November, uh, around November, when we started to follow this story since the FDA allowed fact therapy for COVID-19 patients uh, um, uh, and under the FDA emergency investigational new drug allowance, adaptive fact therapeutics has been allowed to administer um, their fact therapy to 30 COVID-19 critical patients. In those cases, um, the standard care of um, antibiotics have failed. Yes, and we mentioned that Georgia has a very good history of facts. Anna Johadze worked on the story, which we can view right now. More than a year has passed since the appearance of COVID-19. The world continues to fight the rapidly spreading virus. How soon the spread of the virus is going to end is still under question. The cure has not been found so far, but everything may soon change we will hopefully witness a historic discovery. In late November, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the use of phage therapy to treat patients infected with the coronavirus. If the expectations are met, the interest in Georgia will increase. Grounds for this assumption stand on the almost century-old asset of the country, the origin of which is connected to Georgi Elieva. A young microbiologist, Georgi Elieva, returned to Georgia from the Paris Pasteur Institute with Canadian scientist Felix Darrell, who discovered the bacteriophage phenomena. With the right idea and approach, Georgia should become a world center of bacteriophage. In the same year, the story of Institute of Bacteriophage Microbiology and Virology began on Gotua Street. The director was Georgi Elieva himself. The consultant was Felix Darrell. The story of Elieva and Darrell ended in 1937. Georgian scientist was a victim of political repressions. Canadian Darrell left Georgia but passed down a crucial legacy. During the Soviet period, the institute was involved in developing and producing new drugs, vaccines against the diseases of bacterial and viral origin. The center's productivity includes up to 200 tons of vaccines, serums, and phage preparations during the week. Due to the scale, an independent railway line enters the territory of the institute. Loaded wagons pass throughout the country. The institute was established as one of the most powerful biological centers in the Soviet Union. There were several directions, scientific research and enterprise. Activities of the center involved producing biological products, for instance, vaccines for horrible diseases such as Siberian ulcer, brucellosis, rabies, diphtheria, and etc. The second direction was diagnostics, through which certain infectious diseases were diagnosed and treated. The third major area was phage preparations. Another advantage of the center is scientific research, which is kept in the ancient library in the same building. Research papers still play a major role in the development of new medicines today. The institute aims to unpack interesting discoveries, among them the current new virus that has posed significant challenges to the world and Georgia. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration allowed phages to fight infectious diseases a few years ago. It has now been emphasized that phages can be used for patients with secondary infections who cannot respond to these infections with antibiotics. I hope this process will continue. It is said that the original plan that Georgi Elieva had was implemented successfully. One window principle. This is how they work here. The patient manages to receive all types of services starting from the diagnosis, ending with the treatment. After the detection of the infectious agent in the diagnostic center, the selection of appropriate bacteriophage begins. 
Beyond the standard six products which are produced on the territory of the Institute, it is also possible to create individual medicines that can be purchased in the pharmacy of the Institute. The question, however, remains, so why exactly do we choose bacteriophages? The area of application of phage medicine is quite large, from sore throat, burns, wounds, gastrointestinal problems, food poisoning and many more complex and chronic problems, all of this can be solved with phages. This is our peculiarity and uniqueness, we effectively adopt the phages and create effective cocktails that solve these problems. The drugs produced by the Elieva Institute are officially registered in the local market and the process is ongoing in the export markets. Demand for medicine is already in more than 50 countries around the world. Phages are sent from the Elieva Institute to more than 50 countries. The Institute has an important role and potential in the field of medical tourism as well. Patients from all over the world visit the center. Coronavirus paused medical tourism, but the Institute made contact with patients despite being thousands of miles. The telemedicine division has been launched, thanks to which the Institute clinic doctors have individual contact with patients in the countries marked on this map. They offer all the procedures that the patients could have previously undergone on the spot. The Eliava Institute recently offered to provide coronavirus tests. The service is available in the center of the capital, as well as a few kilometers away from Tbilisi. Rustavi Diagnostics has a new history, backed by centuries of experience. While we're here, realizing that we live in a historical period, witnessing many more discoveries. We are BMG. Follow and subscribe for business and economics news.